This is News 3 Sports. Few teams can match the tradition of the Decoin Indians. Al Martin's club put together another quality regular season, finishing 7-2, and two, earning the school's 24th straight playoff appearance. The Indians opened the postseason on the road tonight at Newton. Decoin led 7-0 in the second until Adam French hit Sean Martin for the 14-yard score, tying the game at 7. But then the Indians mount a drive. Arthur Smith is going to go around in, and he's going to pick up 36 yards, and the Indians were in business. On third and 20, A.J. Hill looking for David Rose and finding David Rose. Great grab there for a 26-yard gain, taking it down to the five. Then it's Hill taking it in on the keeper. DeCoin led 14 at the half, all tribe in the second. DeCoin moves on 34-14 the final. Next week, the Indians will get a home game against top-seeded and unbeaten Greenville. The Comets rip Flora. 49-24. The Marion Wildcats were the other area team to jump into the postseason with a Friday night affair. The Cats welcomed Waterloo tonight and checking the action early on. It's Matt Brown with the shot over to Micah Markley for the 14-yard score. Wildcats up 14-0. Then it's Brown again. He's rolling, 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 and he's looking for Derek Borum at the edge of your couch for the touchdown. And it was 21-7 Marion. Waterloo came right back, though, with a score in the second half, to, or second quarter, rather. They cut it to 21-14. Then late in the half, it's Brown to Josiah Cerati for the 52-yard catch and run. Wildcats led 28-17 at the half, and they roll 47-31. Your final, Ashley Hoyer has the post-game wrap. Just as you can tell by the look of the field, it was a sloppy, muddy game tonight. Marion's offense was able to find their footwork. As for Waterloo, their running game was shut down by Marion's D. They did have to turn to the pass, but in the end, Marion was able to pull off the 47-31 win. We didn't think they were going to throw that much. We kind of put them in a situation early. We got ahead, and they were forced to throw. We saw a lot more than what we thought, but we got to learn how to shut down the trap because... That's a, that was a big play for them all night. We ran pretty much like a machine tonight, like we should have done and did well. We were passing the ball all week, so uh, he said that we can do it in this weather, and uh, sure enough, we did. Great effort from our kids. You know, offensively, uh, they kept scoring, uh, you know, when they had the football, we bounced right back and respond, and that's what we've done all year. Marion has now won 14 straight at home. Next week, they will be on the road to take on either Mattoon or Highland, that game will be decided tomorrow. In Marion, Ashley Hoyer, News 3 Sports. Thank you, Ash. Upset special from Effingham. Charleston takes out the top-seeded Hearts. The Trojans will play the Cahokia or Mount Vernon next year in 4A. It's Hillsboro falling to modern day 40-15. to Coming up in just a few minutes, we'll look ahead to all of tomorrow's first-round matchups. Hall of Fame coaches Alway, John Helmick, and Mike Rude will join us in studio for the Sports Extra playoff preview that's coming up at 10:35. Here on TV3. Also on the show, we'll have the season's great plays as well as the story of Mount Vernon senior running back Joel Rush. If we can look at the other video, Rush has overcome the tough hand that's been dealt him to become the Rams' all time leading rusher. Let's hear from Coach Dan Mings. Over the last year, um, me and Joel, we've sat down, we've had those talks. You know, is there anything I can do? No, Coach, I'm all right. And then he'll ask me, is there anything I can do for you? You know, I mean, that, that's the kind of quality kid that he is, and, and uh, it, it may be a long time before we see another one like Joe. 